A few months back, I had a big-time Hollywood meeting in Beverly Hills. Actually, I was just tagging along to a meeting because I was the one who facilitated the meeting. Anyway, it was at a fancy coffee spot on Beverly Drive in Beverly Hills. I made the hour-long traffic-addled drive out there with my friend, the guy the meeting was really for, and we parked and made our way to this fancy coffee shop. The meeting went great, and during the meeting, some small food items were ordered, and when the check came, I figured since I was the one who called the meeting, I should pick up the check. So I did. We left and went home, and that was that. The next morning, I was grabbing breakfast, and I realized I didn't have my credit card in my wallet. Retracing my steps, it dawned on me that I must have left it at the fancy coffee shop in Beverly Hills. I quickly searched for a phone number for the store so I could call them and see if they had my credit card. And the only result that kept coming up was a 1-800 number. This was very confusing to me. When I finally got to an actual computer, I searched again, and still, only the 1-800 number was coming up. So I gave it a call. Now, the Fancy Coffee Shop is owned by a company that sells fancy coffee machines for home use. So when I called the 1-800 number, I got the thank you for calling name redacted. To register your new coffee maker, press 1. For warranty information about your coffee maker, press 2. I was really confused now. So I pressed 0 to talk to a customer service representative. After waiting a few minutes on hold, I was connected to a very pleasant customer service rep. Thank you for calling Business Name Redacted. My name is Mary. How may I help you? Uh, hi, Mary. I think I left my credit card in your Beverly Hills store, and I need the phone number so I can call over there and see if they have it. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you the phone number for that location. Why not? Because none of our physical retail locations have telephones. I was stunned into silence. Hello? So none of your stores have phones? No, sir. I'm sorry. They don't. No phones at all? No, sir. The best thing I could do is email the store manager about your card, and then if they have it, they'll email me back, and then I'll call you and let you know. That's the easiest thing that can be done? That's all I can do, sir. Okay. So I gave her my name and information and hung up. I now had a choice. I could sit and wait for a phone call about an email, or I could get in my car and drive the 45 minutes plus over to Beverly Hills and get my card. Thinking about the long drive, I actually just considered calling my bank and reporting the card stolen. Being without the card for a few days seemed better than driving all the way to Beverly Hills. In this day and age of identity theft, though, I figured I should just drive over there. So I did. I parked. I got into the place and asked to see the manager. When the manager came out, I asked after my card, and she said she had it and went back to get it. When she returned with it, I said, Oh, you'll probably get an email about this, but you can just ignore it. Email? She replied. Yeah, I said. I called the corporate line to try and get the number here, but we don't have a phone, she said drearily, clearly annoyed. Yeah, I said. I thanked her for the card and headed home. And there you go, another episode of The Grant Cast, made possible by the incredibly generous Patreon supporters who have gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a recurring pledge to help produce this show, to help produce the Country Bear Collector show, to help produce the uh, World of Heroes show, The Ultimate Tournament, to help produce the Uncle Angeloper show, to help produce Grant's Advent Calendar. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Huge thanks to Chris Foster, Chuck Tomasi, Carrie Whitney, Brian Greer, Kathy Crawford, John, Dorothy Bachoco, Mike Coughlin, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Matthew Wayne Selznick, Chuck, Melissa Crawford, Jackie Climo, Stephen Staver, Dale Gadania, Jeff Peterson, Mer Lafferty, and Shay Stewart. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. And thank you for listening. If you, uh, do not feel like making a Patreon donation, that is absolutely fine. Why not tell a friend about your favorite Saturday morning media show, and that will be just as good. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are awesome. We will talk to you soon. This podcast is copyright 2015, Grant Pachoco, Saturday Morning Media, all rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com.